In our journey of understanding groups, in terms of their more basic pieces, uh, you can't get very far without the correspondence theorem. What does the correspondence theorem say? Well, if you're given a group G and a normal subgroup N, then the correspondence theorem says that there's a bijective correspondence between subgroups of G which contain N and subgroups of the quotient group G on N. So we have a bijection between subgroups uh, which contain N and subgroups of H bar of the quotient group of uh, the G mod N. And uh, let me just briefly describe this bijection. Uh, how does it work? Well, if somebody gives you a subgroup which contains N, then because N is contained in H, H is, uh, N is going to be normal inside H, and you can consider the quotient H mod N. That's the subgroup of G mod N, so that's the correspondence in one direction. Going in the other direction, if you have a subgroup of G mod N, this is a collection of uh, left cosets um, of N, and uh, we take that uh, to the set of potential representatives of that coset. So these are the G's inside of uh, G, such that if you look at um, G N, you get inside H bar. Uh, it's not hard to check, um, which I'll just leave uh, to you to do, that if you go back and forth in either direction, you've done nothing. So these are uh, inverses of each other, inverse bijections. And um, furthermore, another, another important thing to note is that this bijection preserves normality. So that is to say, um, if um, H is um, normal in G containing N, that's going to happen exactly when the corresponding thing over here uh, is normal inside of G mod N. This is also uh, fairly routine to verify. And uh, this will be uh, an instrumental tool in understanding how groups are um, built out of smaller pieces.